I was uh, rehearsing a, a Brahms sonata and suddenly love fly into the rooms and starting to, apparently he knows this piece very well, I, I, I realized after a couple of minutes and it was with uh, a pianist, Julia Wang, when I was going to play the next day in the, I think in the concert, and you were sort of guiding us. I just came version. to listen, honestly. No, 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 no. I, I you came with the best advice. I mean, maybe more to the piano, but also to me. I, I enjoyed it so much. So there we found each other, I think. And, uh, uh, and then uh, we also met a little bit during rehearsals and so on. But we didn't play together this time. I listened to him and he listened to me. That, that was uh, Yes, uh, it was uh, such an easy collaboration and natural for me and a uh, lot of improvisation and... Uh, spontaneity and you as I you think about this music in more in an operatic way than in a symphonic way which I think is the right way and that's why you bring so much nuances and so much color to the music uh, on top of the fact that the difficulties and the me mechanism of the piece are for you like a piece of bread and it's like you don't even need to think about it and you're only concentrated in the music and so it was a huge huge pleasure for me this week yeah for me too we just said it was so much fun to play and make music together that it's, it's just a shame that no one was here in the room <laughs> with us to listen. But uh, fortunately we have Medici and we have today infrastructures that make it possible to transmit this music to more people than actually the whole. The whole becomes small all of a sudden uh, in, in that perspective. But uh, just the fact we can make music now in this time is more than we can ask for. When you also make music with someone, that was why I talked about this first meeting, because when you meet a musician who are so focused on the actually the process and the music making, it is a pure joy, also immediately a joy. You don't, you don't do the other things around. And for me, I, maybe I, because I'm from, from Sweden, I'm not so good at show social talking around ah, and this kind of thing. That's <laughs> not true. <laughs> anyway, that's how I feel, and and when it get into the to the really the core of what we are here for, I I'm starting to uh, enjoy it immediately, and that's how I met Love, and also that's how he makes music. Well, this program combines uh, two very well known pieces: the Mozart Clarinet Concerto and Beethoven's Sixth Symphony Pastoral. Um, with a completely unknown piece because it's a world premiere uh, by Magnus Lindbergh, which is called Labsense. Um, and this piece, even though it very much um, reminds the sound of Debussy, Ravel, and so on, but um, corresponds mainly to Beethoven and quotes a lot of Beethoven. So this is why we combined it together and uh, makes it a very rich program full of colors and uh, somehow still very much connected through tradition, themes, and so on. So that's the idea. Put down the sound and listen. <laughs>